Hello guys, welcome back to Crafty D Sculpting. My name's Danny and in this week's video we are going down the world of Call of Duty. Now anyone that knows me knows I'm an avid gamer, loves playing games, spends a lot of my time on the PlayStation 5. So I thought I'd go down the route of making one of the characters that I'm always online with and that is Call of Duty and today we are doing Ghost. So, without further ado, Let's get into the video but before we do as always if you haven't already please hit subscribe and hit that like button as it really helps me out on that algorithm anyway guys let's get into it starting off with the armature got my trusty old uh, reference picture here now we're just going to be cutting the pieces off that we need and bending them into shape to find a general shape of his body getting them all cut out figuring out how they're going to be put together and then wrapping it around with a little bit of floral wire once we've got the floral wire on we're then going to be moving on to a bit of masking tape and then we're going to just repeat the process make sure it's all nice and tight and held together right moving on to a bit of super sculpey got to do a little bit of conditioning with this Once it's all conditioned, we can tear off what we need and start bulking out the body. Now, we don't need to go too heavy with this at the moment. We're just generally just trying to find the basic shape. Getting it on nice and thin where we need it. I'll refine it a little bit better off a camera. But once that's done, we're going to get him in the oven. Now, I'll generally bake him for about half an hour. Uh, Generally baking for about 25 minutes at about 130 degrees. There he is, nice and baked. Now we're going to be moving on to some cos clay, but before we do that, we've got to move on to the liquid clay, get it all smished in all the way around. That way it makes sure we get a nice tight bond when we bake him next. All right, now we've rolled out some cos clay in the pasta machine. Now we're just going to generally find his shape again Get it all around the legs, get a nice thin layer on before moving on to his top half. Now we are going to be adding more clay onto this later on, so just a generally thin layer just put on top and then we can work everything else in around and on top as we need it in a bit. Once we've done that, I've just used the paintbrush, the end of a paintbrush, just to push him where all the wrinkles are in his trousers there we go, he's taking shape now that that's done I can move on to his belt again just a thin layer that I just put through the pasta machine cut it into shape and then we can smush all that in where needed afterwards I'm just using this silicon tool just to get all the creases in the belt And then we're going to move on to the eyes of the trousers that the belt feeds through. We're going to have two on the back, one either side, and then two on the front as well. I said that in the wrong order, but you know what I mean. And then we're just going to put a buckle on. Once that's on, we can just get the uh, silicon tool and just smush it into place and just work out any little details. Now I'm moving on to his knee pads. And all I've done was cut two squares and then just got a little ball of clay and just shaped it out to get that general shape that you can see there. Once they're in place, we can put the straps on that are holding it into place. Again, I just repeat the same process as what I've done above with these belt. There we go, four of them in total. And again, just smushing it all in. And he's got a bit of a bum bag as well, this character. So we've just copied exactly the same process I've done with our knee pads. But a slightly different shape. And then again, with some more strapping. Now off camera, I made this little gun in a holster. And we've just put a little bit of liquid clay on the back of that before we've smushed it into place. And then again, we're going to put some more strapping around it.
I put two on everything around here, so we've got two on the gun, two on the um, knee pads. And then we've got a pocket on the side of his jeans or his trousers before putting more strapping on yet again. Right, now we've done a little knife as well to go on. As you can see, we've just used the liquid clay again. Now I've done that, we're going to move on to his feet. Nice and simple the feet on this one. And then we're just cutting in where his laces would be with Stanley knife. Before moving on to his arms. Again, just following the same technique, just smushing it all in, find, finding the general shape and then getting his bulletproof vest on. Again, more straps holding everything into place. Just using the scalpel there, I know I said standing off a minute ago, but using a scalpel just to cut everything down. And these are some magazines in some pockets. We've done three of these in total, and we're just going to whack them on top of the uh, the webbing on, on, his, on his vest. And then, guess what? Some more strapping. Using various tools just to get everything into place and just give it a little bit of detail. Before moving on to his head. Now I've done his head a couple of times on this and yes I know it's not going to be perfect but yeah I'm still learning. I've only been doing this a year now guys so I'm still learning with every sculpture that I make. Could have done a bit of a better job with this one but it is what it is. Don't hate me for it. But once we find the general shape of what we want we're going to cut in some little teeth and then put a wrap around his head and he's got a bit of a hood. Get it all smushed in. There we go. Cut off any excess as well. There we go. Cutting off the excess. Working it all in. And then once we've done that, we can put his scarf or shroud or whatever you want to call it. Get that wrapped around. Cut off the excess again, tuck it all in where it needs to, and then just use some various tools just to finish it off before moving on to the hands. Now off camera I actually made um, an assault rifle. Wasn't perfect again, but we're going to be using this in a minute just to sort of figure out how his hands should be holding the gun, getting some fingers worked in, you need the trigger finger. And then the rest of the fingers are sort of just cut into place and sort of bent round. Didn't have to worry too much about them. Now that he's finished, we can put him in the oven, finish him off and then get onto the paint. Now I've given him a complete black over paint job first of all, just to give everything a duller colour. And then we're going to move on to various greens and browns just to get the camo look. Now we've gone over with this on the complete under part of his um, clothing and it took quite a while to do this but we're just obviously speeding everything up for you and just showing you bits and pieces so there you go you get the general idea of how it's going to look took a few coats as well especially the green and then moving on to his scarf Once we've got it all painted, I have gone over with a very watered down black just to sort of get everything to sort of blend together a bit. Moving on to his face. And his gloves. Now that he's finished, we can move on to the base. Now I've just cut a square of uh, wood up into the shed 
and I've actually scored it all on the top so the clay gets a bit, a bit of a hold. Went over with some liquid clay then we can work that on. Once we've worked that on we can go over a ball of tin foil and just get that rough sort of ground sort of look. Once we've done this we can trim off any excess, put them in the oven and then give it a bit of a paint job. Now I've gone over with a grey and given it a light um, dry brush with some wet. Once that's done just marking out where he's um, going to be anchored into the actual base. Drill out for the um, for the supports. Put some glue on. And put him in place. There we go. Now one final little touch before we finish this one. So we've got some little bits of tufts of grass that are very sticky on the underside, double-sided tape, so we're just going to whack a load of them in place. And this one's finished. And this one, guys, is now complete. What do we think of this one? Don't forget to leave them comments down below. I know my face work still needs some work. I've only been doing this a year now, guys, so be kind with me. I'm still learning every sculpt that I do I'm learning a little bit more I'm just trying to get there and I will get there eventually but I might even go down the route of trying something a little bit different on the next sculpt I'm thinking of doing my other favorite hobby which is fishing and doing one of the fish that I catch most often which is a carp so that might be the next one I'm not 100% sure yet but don't forget to subscribe to find out more also, while we're on the subject of subscribing, please hit that like button as if you like what you see here, it really helps me out on that algorithm. If not, I'm going to have to send Ghost after you. <laughs> anyway, guys, until the next one, take care for now. Bye now.